the romances that I really enjoy. Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace, author of 10 young adult novels so far. Every Christmas, I don't know why, I do this thing where I reread my favorite romance novel of all time. Uh, I don't know why I do it every December. I know why I read it annually, because I love it, and so I constantly want to reread it. But <laughs> why Christmas? I don't know. It's not really a Christmas novel. It's also, it doesn't really have like the, the cozy vibes, you know, the lights and the joy and like Christmas at all. No, not even a little bit. The book I'm talking about is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. <laughs> Don't know why it's my favorite love story of all time, but it is. Favorite book ever. I will always say Jane Eyre if people ask me what my favorite book is. I don't know why. I read a lot of books and I like a lot of books, but this, this one, it's the one, and I read it every Christmas. So, I can't get this back. <laughs> Go up. I thought that I would, um suggest romance novels to read in this lovely holiday season. <laughs> Actually what happened was um, I was reading a romance novel which I was vlogging um, and I was realizing that it was turning less into a normal reading vlog and more into me just hating on romance. I was it's oh it's so cringe you guys. I am still reading the book I have kind of stopped filming it. I don't know that it's going to be a video, but <laughs> because I had scheduled it as a video, I suddenly needed a video. So this is me coming up with a random idea to take the place of the other romance novel that I was vlogging and then just, I, ugh, it's so cringy and ugh, it was making me hate the genre, to be honest, romance novels. Um, I don't read a lot of romance anyway. It's not my thing, <laughs> except in classic form. <laughs> so anyway, yes, um, this this is me filling in the empty spot on the YouTube schedule. Uh, but this is also me reminding myself that I actually really do love romance novels, just not that one specifically. Obviously, I highly suggest Jane Eyre. <laughs> I will be reading it <laughs> because it's Christmas time and it's time to read it again. Oh, they don't fit. Oh, oh, this is much more interesting than I thought it would be. <clears throat> also highly suggest all of Jane Austen's works. Um, I find Lady Susan to be the most fun to read because it's hysterical, but um, maybe not the best romance. Uh, <laughs> Persuasion probably has the greatest romance of all of them. Pride and Prejudice is a classic. Gotta love Darcy. Darcy's not actually my favorite um, Austin hero, though, so do with that what you will. I also feel like in some ways I am Mr. Darcy, with the um, cannot converse easily with people I've never met before situation. Social anxiety, coming off as aloof and snobbish when in fact you're just really socially awkward, but also being really judgmental and snobbish at the same time. Yep, I, I am Mr. Darcy. It's fine. Maybe that's why he's not my favorite. <laughs> okay. Now I have to figure out what I did with my Elizabeth Gaskell book. Oh, here it is. A romance that I adore um, probably more than Jane Austen's books. Don't tell her. Uh, is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This one is amazing. It has the same sort of like Pride and Prejudice first impressions vibes as Pride and Prejudice, but like so much better. <laughs> so yes, Mr. Thornton is my, uh, my absolute favorite. He's right up there with Mr. Rochester. North and South has not surpassed Jane Eyre as my favorite book ever. But it, it, it's close in, like, the specific romance section. Voila. Favorite romances. Let's see. I don't have all the books in this series because I'm, I, um, despite the fact that I buy way too many books. I'm bad at buying books. I don't buy all the books that I want. 
but I have the first one, Candle in the Darkness. This series, what is this series called? Does anybody know? I don't know. Hold on. Hold that thought. It's um, historical fiction set in the uh, Civil War era. And I just absolutely adore it. Uh, my favorite, I think, is book three, which at the moment I can't remember what it's called. But yep, yeah, I highly recommend these. I'm going to look up what the series is called really quick. Oh, The Refiner's Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, that's it. Pretty sure... Candle of the Darkness, Fire by Night, Light to My Path. Yeah, pretty sure it's Light to My Path that I love. I was off screen for all of that, but I'm not saying it again. Anyway, good books. Curse So Dark and Lonely, if you like the fantasy. I don't know that I'd suggest the rest of the series. I have <laughs> haven't read book three. I... I was deeply disappointed on a personal level in book two. Book two is fine. It's well written. It's a great story. It's just not what I wanted for the characters. And I'm still offended by that. But anyway, this one is actually amazing. So good. Best Beauty and the Beast retelling I have ever read. On that note, what used to be the best <laughs> is now in second place. Um, uh, The Cursed Hunter, which is a part of a series. We're talking about romance novels, um, and my favorite romances, and it's difficult for me to su suggest book one and two in the series for that, because book two, I did not, I don't, I don't love the love story of that one, I don't love the main character. And book one, it's cute, but like, uh, we're talking about my favorites right now. Um, also, The Cursed Hunter could be re read, excuse me, as a standalone, um, because it doesn't actually interact with book one and book two's characters. So it's fine. Read The Cursed Hunter, another Beauty and the Beast retelling, there are dragons, it's an amazing love story, it's very sweet, and there you go. What I'm getting from this is that I like classics and fantasy. I mean, I also talked about the historical fiction one, but like, that was one. <laughs> Do I have any other favorite romances? I'm staring at my shelves trying to find something. I'm not, I'm not getting it. I have this entire shelf down here, which you cannot see, but it, the whole way across is one author of historical romances, and they're, <laughs> they're just not jumping out at me. <laughs> uh, the shelf below that is another, like, basically, not the whole shelf, but basically shelf across of contemporary romance, since then they're definitely not jumping out at me. So I think that's what we're going with. There you go. My favorite romances to read. Mostly I would suggest Jane Austen, Jane Eyre, by Charlotte Bronte, um, and uh, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskill, because that one is so good. It's making me want to read North and South, actually. It's the time of year where I read Jane Eyre, but now I really want to read North and South. That's what I got. <laughs> oh, this doesn't work. I only have four in the pretty covers. Hold on. Go back in there. All of these are crooked. <laughs> Everybody go back where you are. As you were. You have to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. I need number seven. There you are. <laughs> Uh, I can't get these back in. There's too many of them. No, it's not that there's too many. It's that they're too tall. 